Very few participants joined. Uh, shall we wait for two minutes? Yeah, I have no issue, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Uh, sir, can we start? Uh, yeah, uh, we can start. Just give me a moment. I share my slides. Just wait. Uh, we have to introduce you, sir, first of all. So, I request uh, Professor Vaibha Dabade, sir, <coughs> to introduce uh, Professor Dr. Gaurav Trivedi, sir. Yeah. Dabare, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, all. I am Vaibhav Dabare, Assistant Professor at Department of Computer Engineering. I hope I am audible. Am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it's my proud privilege to introduce today's session expert, Dr. Gaurav Trivedi, sir. He has completed his PhD from Indian Institute of, uh, Institute of Technology, Bombay. Dr. Gaurav Trivedi, sir, presently working as Associate Professor at Department of Electronics and Electrical Engineering. Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. He is uh, working at Indian Institute of uh, Technology uh, since uh, 2011. Uh, his area of research are circuit simulation and VLSI CAD, electronic system design, computer architecture, semiconductor devices, hardware security, embedded system and IoT, high performance computing, large scale optimization and machine learning. Sir has published many research papers in various reputed international conferences and journals. Selected publications are uh, Analysis, Modeling and Optimization of Equal Segment Based uh, Approximate Adder. Second one is Parallelization of DC Analysis through Multiport Decompositions and many more. List is very long. Uh, so uh, he has contributed in more than uh, 100 papers, contributed and published papers in more than 100 uh, international conferences. We are lucky to have you, sir, for this session on post computer uh, compu uh, quantum cryptography uh, network. Uh, sorry, a new uh, security parad uh, paradigm. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. I hope uh, I want to say all of you are safe and healthy because uh, in Maharashtra, COVID cases are just surging like anything. So I. I wish everybody is, is you can say, safe for uh, this yes, time sir. ahead as well. And I, uh, I start this session with uh, uh, with a talk on this. Uh, I have a little bit, you can say, uh, change this particular, uh, uh, I have changed this particular uh, 
टाइटल ऑफ द टॉक बिकॉज द नीड ऑफ द आवर इज द आई ओ टी डिवाइस एंड अदर थिंग्स एज वेल एंड एंड आई ओ टी इज अगेन ए बेस्ट वर्ड राइट सो वी विल बी हैविंग ए फोकस ऑन द क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग एज वेल एंड वी विल बी टचिंग बेस्ड टू पोस्ट क्वांटम क्रिप्टोग्राफी एंड बट द एप्लीकेशन एरिया स्पेसिफिकली इज समथिंग लाइक द एप्लीकेशन एरिया स्पेसिफिकली विल बी समथिंग लाइक our uh, the iot devices so uh, i will be because the um, i i i can i, I will um, i can i cannot uh, com- complete what is there but uh, definitely you can say that i can uh, uh, but definitely i can say that what uh, what is the post quantum cryptography and all and uh, what are the other things precisely uh, the, 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 we can do in fact we have done a lot of things uh, in uh, just a moment yeah in fact actually i have we have done a uh, lot of you can say uh, work in this area uh, we means the my research group at iit guwahati uh, i have uh, get a one is to end graduating soon in this area and uh, i think because of that uh, i have uh, i myself actually have learned in this uh, area in fact my uh, my entire thing precisely is very much uh, lying on this uh, this is the same talk actually i have delivered in one of the tech cube session in september uh, so i haven't uh, changed this thing and vikram is the student with whom actually i have done so uh, the title of the talk is the quantum computing uh, and this pqc the sorry the quantum computing actually and uh, the this uh, the pqc and all i am talking about so i am talking about the same thing here but i have a uh, little bit giving you uh, the the experimental uh, analysis and the glimpse of what uh, we have done okay we in the sense like the we are the india stands and uh, you know basically our honorable prime minister uh, he is uh, saying since last one year atmanirbhar bharat so uh, with the atmanirbhar bharat we need to know uh, and we need to have okay Uh, the prior things uh, and the current things as well but also we need to have things required in the future as well okay for the leaf for growth of the country because we have just have to set only one variable uh, to zero and that is the foreign dependency equal to zero okay or it should if it is that's the ideal case if it is not there then it should be as less as possible or let's say tending to zero so that part precisely is there so effort is in the, uh, that direction only so uh, i'm going to talk about the quantum computing post quantum cryptography uh, how the pseudo random number jumbo generator works precisely and what is our contribution okay uh, what are the essential elements of uh, a post quantum computer uh, this post quantum algorithm okay what uh, what is our contribution and uh, what we have worked and uh, uh some that is based uh, post quantum cryptography uh, algorithms and their implementation mostly i will be covering the implementation part there uh, i will be little bit uh, jumping over the slides uh, i have total 130 slides but i will be jumping over the slides because uh, uh, some mathematics mathematical part is there uh, which i will not be explaining uh, in this session i have just put it so that uh, uh, you can feel that it is uh, uh it is not as simple as it looks like or uh, uh or is it in the sense like it is here the classical uh, you, you can say computing and the classical cryptography see it is different actually okay so uh, this is there and uh, then we, i will i will talk about the chaos and how to use chaos okay uh, you can say as a post quantum cryptography algorithm and how to Uh, because chaos precisely uh, many people have worked the the system people actually have worked the chaos but chaos is a very interesting uh, application in the cryptography which actually we have come up with so this is all there and uh, in this entire you can say uh, in this entire uh, one hour i will be mostly focusing focusing on uh, what exactly uh, uh, what exactly we have delivered at iit guwahati as well okay uh okay so this is all there uh if something something will be little bit abstract also i am sorry uh because uh, if i start teaching and if i if i start uh, you can say 
quoting even the uh, the slightest of this that will really take more than one and a half hour okay so uh, i so i begin with this right so because when we talk about the security right security is a very important part all of us know okay it is just a key uh, uh, and the lock part okay we just have to take the key to lock uh, uh, something so something can be a home okay it can be a physical entity it can be a virtual entity and on so on okay but what's about the information okay hello okay yes sir yes sir yeah, i request uh, uh, please to mute uh, i i will be discussing in the end my flow gets disturbed okay for anything for, for some something please uh, I request everybody to please mute. That's all. Thank you. So when we talk about uh, the information, so information precisely is uh, something like uh, uh, it is it it is the uh, it is it is what we communicate, right? Okay. So and the transmitting information uh, is something very very much important. And uh, in the present era, when uh, we are using all kind of apps, right? we are using phone pay we are using ptm uh, we are using gpay in fact uh, whatsapp has also come with the whatsapp money so there are so many apps and everything are there okay uh, it is it becomes very very much important that uh, the uh, the information which you are passing over the channel uh, should actually be very much secure right so that is really very much important so uh, but how to achieve this so traditional uh, uh, cryptography algorithms are uh, something uh, uh, which uh, or you can or the traditional secure algorithms are something like uh, they use some uh, key bit in algorithm to do that key bit in the sense like uh, uh, it, it is key bit something like uh, uh, you can say like 409 kfr 4096 uh, uh, 8192 bits or so so for example uh, us and india both both the countries they use a 4096 bit in encryption and they claim that uh, uh, this is uh, precisely uh, and they claim precisely that this cannot be correct and i do agree with them as well this is really very very uh, you can say difficult right so that is true uh, so uh, so uh, so there are standard methods are there but the challenge is that uh, uh, what happens if the quantum computer arrives okay because people have already started the race sooner or later we are going to have quantum computer at our doorstep okay so that's the big challenge so specifically when we talk about the security i want to say the security uh to the information security uh, I want to say it should preserve, uh, uh, but it should have the confidentiality, integrity, authentication mechanism, then the non reproduction and the access control. So, this is all a standard thing which you know. Uh, so, basic security feature, as I've told you, it is very much like a lock and the key. Okay. So, the way, uh, uh, the way precisely the lock, uh, uh, I want to say we, we lock something. Okay. Uh, this is the way it works but this is all virtual okay the decryption in the sense like uh, it is uh, uh i want to say it retrieves the information by using the same key or by using a different key itself okay so that is there so uh, that is all about the basic security infrastructure which we all know this is we know since this thing ages okay okay so what is the role of quantum computer here so, uh, I would say, and what is the role of the classical computer and where the role of classical computer ends? Okay. So, uh, since we all are, uh, uh, very, since we, just a moment, just a moment. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, but when we talk about the quantum machine, uh, I was talking about where this uh, classical things ends. Okay. Uh, you would have seen that recently, uh, uh, last uh, two to three years, China was having the world's fastest two supercomputers. Then US come up with its own supercomputer, which are even faster. Then recently, Japan 
you can say unveiled its uh, Jason actually revealed his own uh, you can say fastest one again okay so this race is going on but this race is very much on the the CMOS uh, based transistors and uh, the the standard uh, digital logic okay and uh, that is uh, that is precisely very much uh, there uh, so what people say so i'm to say uh, what 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 is very much required the very much required is uh, uh, this particular you can say the parallel architecture or parallel computing architecture uh, which people also say the high performance computing architecture is there okay to do the work quickly a uh, lot of things are there and one of the most important thing nowadays is the social media analytics to predict the threat levels okay uh, and to you can say uh, to do a lot of data science engineering to you can say uh, process a, uh, you can say uh, tons of data every over to retrieve information about the weather okay uh, there are a lot of you can say biological things are there covid actually is one of the best example there in which uh, people uh, you can say made the models using uh, the, uh, the supercomputers and uh, they come up with a vaccine uh, uh, in you could the record time of the three months itself okay once the covid uh, uh once the covid you can say uh, uh you can say outbreak happened the vaccine was produced in uh, almost in no time if you just look at uh, the earlier outbreaks uh, worldwide uh, where there was no vaccine at, at all and uh, and the vaccine came after a long time so and that was very much possible with the help of the good uh, you can say uh, good you can say bio bioinformatics uh, and many of the branch of the sciences involved in that to, to to reach up to that but specifically i can also say the supercomputing also played its own role okay so uh, but in order to achieve that right we require a, a large amount of computer with huge power okay huge means in gigawatts okay so if if i if i host a uh, let's say the quantum computer okay or, or, or sorry if i host a world's fastest computer okay in guwahati or let's say in delhi uh, i can actually power the entire delhi itself just uh, with the the the, uh, the kind of power required to hold, you can say run the con, 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 this, uh, that's the fastest per computer is equivalent to what the power a, a, city, a city like delhi needs or a city like guwahati but i would two or three guwahatis can run with that okay something like this so uh, so this is all there so it requires a big area okay and a huge amount of power as well and uh, this both the things precisely we need to we we we, we have to reduce right we have no other option so uh, that is why actually people start focusing on uh, the quantum computer that is uh, or, or some other you can say some other avenues key what what can be the solution and uh, the second one precisely is something like uh, uh, you know very well uh, the trans transistor size is shrinking okay we started uh, the fabrication technology with the 10 micrometer as per my understanding okay and the knowledge and uh, but actually we uh, in the current era in the current time uh, the most recent uh, mobile phones by apple or the most recent process this embedded processor are at five nanometer technology node <clears throat> you must very much well so so <clears throat> that is with the five nanometer technology node right so that is there second thing uh, that is one thing precisely we guys have uh, uh, kind of achieved second thing uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> that is one thing and uh, uh, how much smaller we can go that is uh, uh, that is very very much that, 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 that the race actually is already going there uh, government of india uh, it was better late than never but they have announced 30 billion dollar funds uh, for the elect uh, the fab setup or the electric system design manufacturing and so on in fact they have also reserved some 8000 crores for other than this so for the quantum computing as well okay so there is a quantum computing mission is already going on and they actually have uh, uh, this thing here so when we talk about a quantum computer uh, uh, so now coming to that actually so uh, so the, the size precisely right the size of transistor is reducing and uh, uh, we we are very much anticipating that one day 
we will not be able to you can say reduce the transistor up beyond a certain limit that is why people are coming up with the 2d materials or the 1d materials okay so that they can actually even uh, produce uh, uh, you can say the transistors even the smaller than one nanometer size okay but uh, it will have a limitation right i'm going to say at one point of time uh, you cannot go beyond certain things right maybe we can come with a lot of materials or so okay we can push this problem in the future but one day this problem will come right okay so what is the solution for that okay <clears throat> that is one thing and the the more we reduce, reduce the size of the transistor the uh, the the complex uh, particular you can say uh, uh, you can say the entire process become the, the more complex i mean to say the, the process is becoming more and more complex uh, and uh, the the yield okay reliability stability is also taking its own toll so then people say oh what we can do so then say okay fine we go for the splitronic devices we go for the uh, quantum computing device we go for the quantum computers we go for the splitronics and all okay <clears throat> so this is there so when we so so when we actually we uh, so so, so so quantum computing is something which is very much close okay people have come up with his own quantum computer and uh, google is saying google now amazon is started working uh, i would say russia little bit late or or you can say i don't know what is there but they have also started working china has already claimed the word fastest uh, or you can say the the the, the largest you can a qubit quantum computer is there so it's the it, it, it people have started coming with this so, so it's a machine precisely that perform the calculation based on the laws of the quantum mechanics which actually all of us know okay and which is which is a behavior of the particle subatomic level okay a bit of data is reprinted by a single atom that is in one of two state denoted by uh you can say uh the tick one and uh, you can say the tick zero the single bit of this form is known as the qubit this is the way of the this uh the, the zero qubit and the this same this one qubit is there a single qubit can be forced into superposition of the two states denoted by the addition of the state vectors and uh, this is a this uh, this phi size state vector there which is uh, having the uh, coupling alpha and the beta there and uh, if we have to you can say make a three bit qubit register then equally weighted superposition of the all possible states would be denoted by this particular mathematical equation so what i'm what i mean to say here okay i mean to say that in the quantum computer precisely uh, we used to have uh, something called the bits there but here we are having something called the qubits there okay so qubits precisely is something we are uh, uh, the qubits precisely is something like we we guys are very much uh, uh, okay so I, okay so i, I just say, I, I just say that uh, qubit something like uh, it, it 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 is a it is a bit representation of uh, you can say of the information in the quantum space right usually we is i wish uh, i'm to say uh, we store the information in the digital the classical way like the zeros and ones okay here also we have this uh, the zeros and ones but these zeros and ones actually are a little bit different they are the superposition of the the two vectors okay so 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 what precisely it is based on question of high high zero uncertainty principle like uh, if uh, uh, i would say if i can find the momentum i cannot find the the position and so and uh, and the other way around as well the, the vice versa so uh, so th th that precisely the big problem is there but specifically when we talk about the qubit uh, and the inf and, and when we talk about the information the information precisely is saved in uh, the form of the states and uh, uh, the the qubit can actually be found okay by uh, the qubit actually can be found by the super superposition of multiple states are there so uh, if i have to precisely store certain information i don't require let's say if i want to store uh, in i'm giving a very novice way of saying this thing okay uh, so let's say i want to store a uh, 2kb of the uh, data right so i require uh, uh, the 2048 bits okay uh, arranged in a certain order okay that is there but when we talk about uh, what when actually we talk about uh, uh, the standard way uh, 
uh, sorry, the classical way, sorry, no, the, the quantum way, we don't require either 2048 bits. Maybe a few uh, qubits will be required because uh, every qubit actually stores, uh, can store multiple information in, in it, okay, because it stores multiple information uh, in the multiple level of the uh, multiple states as well. And I can retrieve the information, okay, uh, just by uh, doing the, just by adding the states and you can say the superposition in the, the possible states also, okay. So, uh, so that precisely I just want to say. So when we talk about the conceptual architecture and the building block of the quantum computer, you can say we are having the, the QPU with a quantum processing unit similar to the central processing unit is there, okay, which runs in a very, very much uh, extremely isolated environment is there uh, at a very, very low temperature, okay, uh, and uh, when it runs precisely, it has uh, uh, you can say isolation from the magnetic fields, okay, and uh, the vibration, RF signals, and so on, okay. And you can see that it's written the high vacuum environment with a temperature close to 150x colder than the interstellar interstellar temperature is very much required, okay, right. So, and precisely like we have the machine instruction, this has the quantum machine instructions are there. It integrates the high performance traditional computing environment and industry standard API program languages uh, and so on. This is precisely the DWAVE is a company which actually builds uh, some small scale quantum computers, the Canada based company is there. So, this is a 204, uh, you can say it operates on a 2048 qubit and 5600 couplers so to reach the scale. 12800 uh, use Poisson uh, junction. So this is precisely all there. So uh, it is, so uh, I have other, you get a diagram as well, but I think this is good enough for this, uh, for that. So, uh, uh, so, so I, th so, so, it, it, so, so one of the requirement precisely is uh, the, the very, you can say, uh, sec uh, very secret environment is there. And uh, not only that precisely, uh, the temperature is very much, uh, uh, you can say, required. So whenever you just look at the internet and you find the pictures there, you can find that uh, 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 the one computer is like equivalent to one very big hall. Okay. So if I just compare the ENIAC and uh, the quantum computer, uh, we started with the, uh, you know, big hall and we ended up in a big hall itself. Okay. So the cycle gets completed before the starting of the new era. Okay. So... Right. So, so that part, so that part precisely is there. So, uh, that part precisely is there. So, and in fact, actually, when we talk about, uh, uh, in fact, when we talk about precisely this, uh, this one, uh, to say you can see, uh, uh, we require that you can say good, uh, so you can say uh, medium, okay, to store the uh, risk or this quantum information, right? or the qubit because uh, one of the biggest challenges there if I store the information uh, uh, okay I know if I am able to find the position I cannot find the momentum so then how to depict the state okay or how to define the state so that's why the low temperature are very much required and uh, the superconducting materials are very very much required so people are working in the area of superconducting materials and uh, uh, with the intention that uh, they, uh, they they can be, it, it can actually be used for the building of this quantum computer also one day. Okay, so uh, hope so. I want to say we get we we get we get this uh, thing invented. I am not a physicist, so I cannot comment more on that. Okay, so when we talk about the uh, the completion of the classical versus the quantum computing, we have the conventional bits here one so you know we have the qubits here. Okay. We are, uh, I'm to say, uh, the qubit zero, qubit one, and uh, we say this is precisely a. This is also a kind of the qubit, which is nothing but the superposition of the qubit zero and qubit one, and a and b are the complex numbers. Okay, uh, in order to m bits, then storing n numbers takes the n cross m bits. The standard way I've told, told, uh, told, told you. But actually, you can save the vast number of uh, information in the several qubits. Like three bit coefficients can store all this kind of you can say bits are there. Okay, right. So it has the n uh, raised to the power of eight. Uh, you can say uh, for the n degree of freedom. That part precisely is here. It operates the single instruction at a time in a single processor. It always perform multiple uh, processing uh, simultaneously. Okay. Use uses may uh, I'm gonna use may exist classical algorithm to the data processing, and very few algorithms are uh, there to process the data and the computation. 
the shores and the simon and the time and the computational power incre increases uh, exponentially for solving np hat problem and the process np hat problem in more uh, easily and the faster manner so here i have more or less verbatimly uh, read everything okay uh, but now actually i just uh, come up with uh, my own discussion on this uh, classical we know because uh, even we say precisely uh, we have the parallel computers are there and all i'm just saying there is some bit of uh, sequential uh, computations are always there or the serial computations are always there okay and uh, the classical is inherently sequential right but uh, uh, what's about the, uh, the truly parallel machine right so the quantum computer is uh, uh, in other way around precisely is uh, a truly parallel machine okay or a default parallel machine why is it default parallel because uh, multiple qubits uh, or the you can say can operate uh, on a same problem okay or the same data uh, with uh, multiple uh, possibilities and uh, propose the solution quickly so uh, i'm going to say the aim of this building the quantum computer is uh, you can say very much uh, inspired okay i just told you to replace the big kind giant super computers out there and so that uh, even in the desktop we can get the power of uh, the large supercomputing is here so even nowadays suppose you go and buy uh, a good good desktop people say uh, this is uh, something equivalent to this is having the two processors in fact you can buy that one okay you can have a small gpu or you can have a good gpu okay installed in that okay and uh, you can use it in your office if i just compute the the power you can say compute power in teraflops okay you will find that uh, in uh, early 90s whatever the power you can say the compute was available in the form of a supercomputer okay that much precisely is very much uh, available at your at your desktop at your desktop now even more okay uh, when i was a student uh, at iit bombay and it was like uh, 2004 or so uh, at that time you can say building the world fastest uh, uh, supercomputer in petaflop petaflop domain was uh, very much uh, aim of everybody many you can say research uh, communities in the world but now uh, when we talk about uh, now i would say people are running towards the exact scale computing and even uh, you can say uh, even even more so uh, so in order to have this right we we need to have a quantum computer and we need to have the algorithm precisely which can run on those algorithms so here specifically i have talked talk, talked about the np hard problem so np hard and np computer is a category i'm to say uh, these problems are practically uh, unbreakable okay so uh, but with the people say here quantum computer we actually can do that uh, just give me a moment i share you some different set of slides okay i was giving a talk on uh, how this uh, this will actually work okay so here specifically <coughs> i show you one <clears throat> yeah so you can see in this slide uh, this is a little bit about the shore factoring uh, algorithm is there okay so uh, i was saying that suppose we have uh, a 102 bit encryption and uh, it was like uh, 2000 uh, year 2006 okay so the factoring uh, the factorization actually takes uh, you can say uh, will take some a hundred thousand or one lakh year okay and uh, when it the same thing to the four bit in encryption it takes a uh, really huge uh, number of years okay and uh, again precisely with 4096 is really a huge okay uh, but the same thing precisely uh, the factoring if i just have to you can say to factor this part okay in 2024 uh, the same 1024 will take uh, only three days with the with the on the classical computer this will take uh, three to eight years. This will take two to two to two to twenty-two years. Uh, of that order, particularly, right? And uh, it requires really so much of the time, so much of the power, so much of uh, the resources, right? And uh, even generations of the generations will last in order to do that. That is all okay, okay. But if I come with a quantum computer which is even running at a clock speed of hundred megahertz, okay, with one zero two four qubits, okay the same thing precisely uh, i can uh, the same problem actually with the factorization problem i can do it in uh, 4.5 minutes 2048 bit encryption i can uh, you can say crack it in 
36 minutes and 4096 uh, bit, bit actually the one precisely uh, i can crack it in 4.8 hours but for that i need to have this uh, uh, 5124 qubit and the 10224 qubit and 20484 qubits uh, super computer this quantum computer respectively but uh, what what my take is that suppose 5124 quantum uh, this is a qubit uh, uh, quantum computer precisely is uh, very much available with me one day Okay, I haven't reached even 100 or I'm near to 100 now. So let's say uh, after a year or two years, we are having 1024. So all those uh, all those things precisely, which does not use uh, such kind of 4096 uh, uh, a bit encryption for because for that you anyway need uh, uh, 20484 qubit uh, quantum computer then become vulnerable. But I'm going to say your yeah, entire thing will just, uh, hey, security will just get cracked in five minutes, less than five minutes. Okay. So that that is there. Even I'm going to say if I just increase the, the qubit there, this time can get, go exponentially down as well, only a few seconds. So, so this precisely is uh, something uh, I want to bring to the attention that similarly, when we talk about the, uh, uh, I'm going to say the NP hard problem, the factorization is the NP hard problem is there. Okay, uh, so uh, so uh, that actually takes so much time on you can say getting cracked on the quantum uh, classical computer, but uh, quantum precisely it becomes very very much easy, easier. So so but this is this is making our uh, system vulnerable in future as well, right? So uh, so so th this is a simple thing actually which is actually found on the internet as well. Okay, uh, there is actually a. Uh, the gap precisely is uh, this gap was always there. Uh, that I mean, this is a year and the number of qubits precisely. How 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 long will it take for me to reach? So here you can see why 2025 people are anticipating that we will reach uh, up to the thousand qubit system. And uh, approximately you can say 2020 uh, we have made uh, more than uh, you can say 100 qubit system is there. Uh, so I think. Uh, I, I I I think we are uh, very much following this score, okay. But uh, uh, but when you talk about a quantum computer and a quantum algorithm, okay, uh, I mean, there will always give, be a gap because uh, the, even the hardware is available, the the proper software we need to make, okay. So uh, this actually more or less I have said so. So I am not going to uh, you can say it again, but. Uh, this is all about this how sorry i think this is no no this actually i haven't uh, said so so this is precisely uh when we talk about uh the double key size the aes 3ds dsa rsa okay diffie hellman code a hash b these are precisely different different kind of uh, you can say the cryptography uh you can say algorithms are getting evolved okay so uh, when we talk about the post quantum cryptography this is going to take a center stage some somewhat after uh 2025 i say uh 26 or so 26 or 27 somewhere it will be there and uh, uh, then precisely you can say the high performance algorithm the quantum key uh, uh, key cryptography will the otp will be required otp is, is very 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 interesting one uh key why this is all there recently uh, i mean this is this is not a uh, uh i would say three days back my brother lost uh, one lakh rupee uh, he himself is uh, working in a very high position in one of the companies and he is also taking care of uh, all kind of the information security related things but he himself was robbed okay by the people uh, we have lost a case in uh, the police station as a, and, uh, and we, we didn't have any other option but uh, uh, he recently lost so it was a very funny thing happened he received an sms Okay, from HDFC Bank itself, I'm leaving the name. If it is getting, you can say recorded, please mute this HDFC word there later. Uh, from from his bank, I just say, and uh, the, the standard SMS, the same way. He, your account is locked and uh, please click on it. And uh, he used to do certain, uh, you can say, transaction every day. So he immediately clicked on that. Uh, he was asked for uh, one OTP and uh, the otp came but he did not uh, you can say uh, put that otp on the link okay and neither it was uh, copy pasted automatically okay he he had disabled it but even after that uh, his account was swiped uh, by good suite one lakh rupee okay so 
so, so then people are precisely people are precisely saying that the OTP is there, but uh, OTP, so this method itself has some flaws. But it's still, then people say no, not only this precisely. Uh, the double layer, you can say the, the two tiers. You can, you can say uh, the protection of the accounts are there, which makes your account uh, even with the classical things uh, is very much secure and uh, the quantum proof. Okay, so we don't need the post quantum cryptography algorithm, but we will need it. Okay, and we will need this. Uh, you can say even this uh, uh, the quantum key distribution and uh, the OTP based. Uh, uh, you can say uh, this algorithms in future. Uh, otherwise the security will actually be quite vulnerable also okay uh one in the sense like precisely it will actually be broken down so uh so there, so there are many you can say uh, uh you can say public key cryptography they make key cryptography or the hash function function based uh, uh security algorithms are there but one of the big question is there how long will it take okay for a quantum computer to crack the uh you can the solution okay so there is the Mosca theorem is there where he says that uh, uh, how long the encryption needs to be secure that takes the x, x year, how long the retooling of the existing infra with the quantum safe solution uh, takes, takes the y year, and how long until large scale quantum computer is built at a z year. If x plus y is greater than z, is z or I'm to say z is less than x plus y, then that's really worrisome. Okay. So I'm going to say if you claim that uh, what it what is safe that you claim that hey my security algorithm will actually be safe or will keep you safe for next hundred years and I come up with a new machine in the next ten years then it's a big problem okay so 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 that is actually going to happen and uh, we just have to precisely uh, you know save ourselves from this. So uh, the known, uh, you can say the quantum threat one actually I've told you like the secure email communication, okay, secure data communication, okay, public key infrastructure, digital signatures precisely, okay, software and mobile apps, okay, this all there. I want to say people are talking about the blockchain, okay, they say this is one of the security paradigms are there, okay, and uh, so uh, what happens precisely some people actually crack that thing, okay. People are saying uh, the cloud, you can say uh, this uh, the cloud computing based solutions, uh, everything will become vulnerable. How many apps are there worldwide? If I ask anybody, I mean, if you ask me nowadays, we might have crossed the, the, the you can say the, the app developed in precisely in millions or so now. Okay, at least a million. Apps will be roaming around the world, different languages, different works and so on. Okay, we, we might not be knowing, right? And many will actually be good doing the digital payment. Okay, so this precisely will uh, will be there. In fact, if the quantum computer comes there, then the cryptocurrencies, uh, I, mean, I don't know what will happen to the Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other, any other cryptocurrency. Okay. And then we talk about the quantum algorithm. So the, uh, the very, you can say, uh, the two very famous one precisely by the shore, or the Peter Shore uh, from the MIT and Professor Love Grover uh, of the Cornell University. So the, uh, the quantum is intended to model and perform the quantum competition. That's it. Okay. So it can have quantum gates, act on a fixed number of qubits, so, and uh, it, it has a quantum effect such as superposition and entanglement to perform the faster parallel computations are there. Okay. So the quantum entanglement is precisely is a very important and very interesting thing. Uh, if I, you can say, uh, change the bit here. Okay. And if let's say big is at, at that particular bit precisely is in is resonating, you can yeah, although the word is not the resonating, okay, it is quite in sync. I just say with this bit, then that bit that bit is also changed, okay. If that bit is placed in US, okay, so there should not be any. There is no there is no mechanism, right? Okay, there is no medium, but even then there even the change will happen. So the quantum entangle, entanglement precisely is. Uh, really you can say key to achieve uh, the super uh, speed of the computations okay so act on the input qubits and exits uh, uh, on the solving a problem so that part precisely is there we have many things like the your Fourier uh, transform become the quantum Fourier transform we have uh, quite a lot of analogous so you can have different algorithms are there so uh, similar the source and the groovers, the groovers algorithms are there people many people say the groover this is not groover this is an Indian guy, okay. So love, love actually, uh, love Kumar is uh, a, a, you can say B Tech of IIT Delhi, 
uh, did his PhD from US uh, and uh, I want to say he he you can say designed the very famous uh, shows uh, you can say the uh, algorithm history. I will sorry, Gruber's algorithm history and uh, like uh, the shows algorithm very much works on the interfactorization in a polynomial time. It is uh, he actually takes up uh, uh, more or less uh, uh, Gruber actually on on the the, the search part. They're searching the unstructured entries on a database for a marketed entry and allows faster uh, querying of the results are there. Okay, so uh, so specifically, I want to say when we talk about the shows algorithm, it shows the quantum computer is capable of acting very large number in polynomial time. Okay, so that part precisely that's why actually I was showing you in the slides. Okay, uh, there's a factorization in all. So, uh, so what precisely I mean to say. Uh, if there is a number is there, okay. So can I find uh, the, the factorization problem is very very much you can say known to everybody that you have to find uh, the, the a factor of a number, for example, which is also the prime or some or having some other properties, right? So uh, so specifically, I'm going to say this is a fast factorization, okay. And therefore the n bit integer requires so uh, uh, this exponential e n by one through log n two by three on a on the best classical algorithm on a on a supercomputer is there. Okay, when n increases precisely, you can see it uh, increases exponentially the complexity. Uh, but when we talk about the shows algorithm, can accomplish this task in the same task uh, using n square log n log log of n is there operation. So which is really very very fast. Okay, so can't, this actually uh, factor number exponentially faster than the best known classical algorithm because here I, we are having n square log n. And here the minimum thing is e raised to the power of x is there kind of okay. So this this I uh, want to say contact computer. I want to say if, if I just look at the, if I just found the speed up, it is giving me exponential far, time faster uh, than the best known classical algorithm is here. Okay. So this actually I I just skipped this slide. I don't want to say so. Okay. So. Uh, there are many, you can say, the traditional public key crypto system like the RSA, ECC, or the DSA. People say people are using elliptic curve cryptography or the RSA uh, quite a lot. They say they are unbreakable, but by short algorithm, they are very much breakable. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, so that is there. And, uh, and the symmetric encryption hashing function can potentially be broken by the brute force using a Grover's algorithm. So, so that so that part is also there. So, so when we talk about the, the quantum cryptocurrency, these two part actually more or less become very much vulnerable. Okay. Uh, so this is the current state of the quantum computing versus classical encryption is there. So public key cryptography, the symmetric crypto, AES, SHA-2, or the RSA or the ECC, DCLM, and, and all these things are there. Uh, if it's a difficulty, RSA is a difficulty of factoring. This is a difficulty of elliptic or discrete logarithms are there. And uh, but uh, when we talk about this, this part very much becomes vulnerable to shows, and this part very much becomes too vulnerable to the global algorithm history. So finally, at the end of the day, everything is breakable. Okay, and that's a big big worry. Uh, security one. Oops, I'm sorry. I don't know. Just give me a moment. Okay, so so this precisely is uh, very much uh, you can say everything is breakable. So when you talk about the security vulnerability, this is all rare. Uh, you can say uh, more or less uh, by with the shows algorithm. Even I can implement the shows algorithm on the uh, the classical computer is there and uh, uh, up to a certain level. I'm not saying, but uh, I can I can emulate it and I can actually I can I can break uh, many algorithms are there. And uh, when we talk about this. Uh, uh, this public key cryptography more or less are broken down. Okay, uh, 128 bit or so. Uh, this is all there. Uh, so, what is the probable solution? Okay, we come to the solution. So, we know precisely uh, quantum computing is a threat. Okay, but overnight uh, we cannot change the. But when we talk about it, so overnight actually we cannot change uh, this entire uh, you can say infrastructure. Okay. It is very much there in place, friends. Right? So we cannot do that. 
so when you talk about a quantum uh, cryptography we say okay fine we let's use the quantum computer so the particles medium and everything is there for use the photons okay lasers and other things precisely to pass the information uh, uh, so it will pass the information and uh, but specifically when we talk about here uh, this is uh, uh, this is doable but actually it uh, have its own problem okay so uh, good uh, good coherence is needed for the long distance problem. you can say communication problem is there and we have to use a very sophisticated precise measurement instruments are there okay if uh, uh, let's say during the uh, information uh, you can say passing let's say when the two photons precisely interact with each other they actually can change the information okay so that part precisely is there so so, so quantum cryptography or i'm going to say that is precisely the uh, the solution right but uh, but that that's the solution but uh, uh, but that is as of now not the very acceptable solution in the present time okay maybe in future it can be okay but in present present time it is not so uh, i was uh, when i started working in this area i can share my little experience here before moving to the pqc uh, post quantum cryptography in short is the pqc is there so uh, i was talking with one of the defense personnel of uh, very high rank and uh, he told me uh, dr gaurav uh, can you please uh, uh, think of something okay so that uh, the standard algorithms whatever is there you are using we are using okay uh, or, the, uh, or the or the setup precisely we need not to change the setup but uh, we are protected by any kind of uh, attacks okay no, even the quantum computer which is that uh, which is the upcoming threat we are uh, safe uh, well ahead of time so that was his statement so by that I mean, at that time it was it was way back in 2013 or so but at that time precisely i was uh, i haven't started working in that area itself but academia gives us gives all of us a very good uh, independence of you can say explore any area of the interest and start working so in 2015 actually i, I you can say took my two years i study all both the, all these things on my own and uh, uh, i want to say one of the students actually joined who had uh, or who has a similar interest at that time so uh, so he started working with him actually started working so uh, then we say okay fine the pqc is one of the proper solution it means that the algorithms which even cannot be cracked by a quantum uh, computer so there are classical computer as i have told you it is very much sequential in nature when we talk about the uh, the post quantum uh, this uh, the, sorry when we talk about the quantum sorry classical computers it is very much sequential in nature when we talk about the quantum computer it is very much parallel in nature but can i force even even a quantum computer okay not to paralyze any step i'm saying i'm doing that that's a statement i'm making okay if i if i if i just force the quantum computer even if you your basic nature is parallel okay how hard you try you cannot uh, uh, you can say uh, leave the or you actually cannot escape the sequential or the steps of uh, uh, this particular x y g method so then that x y g method if it, it if it is if it is force a quantum computer okay not to you can say jump then it becomes uh, you can say only then actually you can say it it it, it can become the quantum safe so the same thing is there we uh, i'm going to say uh, these algorithms precisely we are developing on the the classical platforms okay uh, and it is based on the limited the quantum computing algorithms are there okay uh, but i'm going to say we can use the the trapdoor function that can easily break the quantum computer logic to design that uh, particular algorithm is there the four brought the hash that is multivariate code based chaotic dynamic system based crypto crypt algorithms are there okay but specifically okay the purpose is a system can not escape okay i cannot give me a proper parallel uh, it, it cannot give me a uh, it cannot give me a parallel uh, 
सॉल्यूशन फॉर व्हाट वी हैव ओके सो दैट प्रिसाइसली इज देयर सो सो स्पेसिफिकली सो सो दैट प्रिसाइसली इज देयर बट इट हैज इट्स ओन डिफरेंट डिसएडवांटेजेस देयर सो सो सॉरी आई थिंक आई शुड से समथिंग मोर i just want to summarize like uh, uh, we need to design the algorithm that actually even uh, uh, that can that that will be running very much on the classical one as well but cannot cannot be even cracked by the quantum computer because of its very much uh, nature okay like the sequential nature or whatever we can we can call it okay so the but the key size is normal is large motor algorithm are the symmetric uh, uh, i mean crypto state for well, the symmetric cryptography is there okay and uh, and we need to have the more resources generate and the compute them from the same key length classical algorithm is there only that is the disadvantage but with the current technology i was very much talking about a 1 nanometer or so okay we have reached and we are even trying to reach uh, even less than 1 nanometer or so this is this seems very much uh, we can it doable isn't it i'm to say if you really ask me i i can say hey this is very much doable okay why because uh, uh, we can sacrifice a little bit silicon to achieve this it achieve a more you can the secure system and that is that is okay for us so uh, i will from this point onward actually i will little bit be faster so we have the uh, different classes in the pixel algorithm the code based hash based lattice based uh, and some miscellaneous one so merkel signature is a hash based is a maclis is the code based okay multivariate quadrate is a multivariate algorithm with the ntru okay uh, we can the ring w or we call the lw with the learning with errors or the ring learning with errors rlw they are the they form the lattice uh, based uh, the pqc algorithm and the isogenesis the super singular ecc uh, algorithm is there so this is all, all this is all about it so so this particularly i am to say then people started working in this area they come up with the uh, the different different kind of uh, you can say pqc algorithms are there and with this i can say that uh, uh, and this actually i can say that uh, has uh, you can say uh, started a new uh, era in itself uh, in the area of uh, cryptography so uh, if i design something and if i make the uh, not as the software but if, let's say if i design the hardware realization of this uh, then we will be able to achieve uh, uh, then actually we will be able to achieve what uh, Uh, what we are intended to do. So, so when we talk about the multivariate algorithm is there. It is uh, for I'm just giving an example. Uh, so the non-linear quadratic polynomial over a, a finite field. Okay, uh, the hardness of the system depends on size of the finite field variable, degree of the Fourier system, and so on. I quickly go and you can show uh, what exactly uh, is there. Uh, so this is the uh, when we talk the lattice multivariate, uh, the public key size and the private key size precisely. uh it is a uh, little bit longer as compared to the classical counterpart and uh, the key memory is less than 1 kb is there okay we can actually very much manage okay as compared to other algorithms are there okay cd is precisely is also of the same kind but uh, the secure the lattice multivariate found to be better as compared to the cd is there okay so that is there uh but is actual you can say uh but is actual uh test can only we can do Uh, when we have the proper uh, quantum computer available with us okay or with the current quantum computer up to a certain level actually we can uh, we, we we can do this kind of testing okay so uh, so i, I think this is uh, i just skip this part is not required okay so what is the basic building block for the uh, to design a, a pqc uh, so uh, when we when we say precisely uh, design an any one okay uh so we we require a uh, pseudo random number generator okay a uh, you can say very much uh, the multivariate polynomial modulo multiplier is there or you can the tensor polynomial modulo multiplier is there okay and uh, we need to have a proper uh, software uh, solution okay to integrate uh, uh, with the sqc platform is there because uh, because what actually we have taken like here uh, whatever uh, with our learning was there for the different different algorithms are there we say okay fine now the time is there we have to precisely uh, implement it uh, in the hardware and without the hardware implementation we cannot uh, claim uh, the efficiency of these these algorithms are there so uh, if you if you just look at it uh, you will find you may find couple of our papers which are in uh, after some time as a reference paper 
uh, in this particular area itself. We are working in the area of lattice multivariate and the lattice wave cryptogram we have designed. So uh, we first designed precisely one, uh, this uh, pseudo random number generator is here. So random number generator is very, very much required. Okay, so there are two other numbers are the blum blum shove and the jaw shift. So we have used a jaw shift to precisely uh, come up with a blue zor is there. And uh, we found that this particular blue zor is, uh, uh, you can say, uh, uh, you can say this is the FPGA implementation of this. So this blue zor is precisely, is much better as compared to uh, many other standard, you can say uh, PRNGs are there. Uh, I, I can just show you there. It passed all the tests also. Okay. And uh, this is all the scatter plot for this, uh, saying that, uh, yes, this is give, giving us uh, really a, a random number is there. Uh, the diehard text suite, actually, when we have passed with this, we have found that uh, our uh, algorithm is passing all the tests without having any difficulty, OK, uh, as compared to the existing well-known PRNGs are there, OK. And uh, when we talk about uh, the NIST test suite precisely, again, we were passing uh, uh, about this test was passing uh, all the test except the one where uh, uh, I'm going to say, uh, uh, I'm going to say uh, sim simply you can say the Zor shift for some of the state gives the zero, absolute zero, but precisely we were having the zero zero nine two four seven is there. Little bit deviation is there, but, but this deviation is very much, uh, you can say, acceptable. Okay. Uh, and then actually we, we also designed a tensor polymer multiplier architecture is there. So what is the tensor polymer multiplier multi architecture? So when actually we implement this particular, you can say, or any, you can say PQC, uh, we have to, you can say, multiply, uh, uh, we have to we have to work with the different polynomials. Okay. So it is uh, it is very much diff different than what actually we do there for. But when we work with the polynomials uh, and we work on that, we require a set of matrices, which actually we can call it a tensor. So you have to, you can say, uh, you need to have a very efficient tensor polynomial multiplier. If you don't don't have this, okay, and if you don't have a very efficient one, then uh, your PQC uh, will not be giving you the desired result in the real time. Okay, so that is there. So I will skip uh, the part of the mathematics here. Okay, and uh, this is again, I, I will just skip the part of this, what is there, but uh, directly coming to this, uh, uh, Directly show you, I would say, there are something called the, uh, like, uh, encryption, decryption, something called the homomorphic addition, or you can say the re recryption is there. Okay. So, this is one very, impo very important magic prop magical property that I will directly go. So, uh, this is very much like that of the software implementation, uh, I would say, uh, we can do. We have the key generation, we have the encryption, we have the decryption unit here separately, and uh, we have the homomorphic addition, homo homo multiplication unit for decryption. Okay, so uh, what the recryption is there? Uh, recryption is something like uh, uh, I can perform, uh, if, if I'm performing, uh, uh, I'm saying it in a no, very no, novice uh, manner only. If I am able to perform the addition, the multiplication, homomorphic and multiplication on the cipher text are there, and uh, without, without uh, you can say, uh, decrypting then and produce the correct result, okay, that is the process of the recryption is there, okay. So it, it takes that answer uh, to be supplied here for the multiplication to produce this. So here precisely we have we have we should have the key generation and encryption unit anyway is going to be there. We should have to have some certain inputs are there and uh, the answer you need to provide it and then it will it will give you the actual you can the cyber texture which is desired and uh, the simple simply reverse of this will be done in the decryption unit is there. Okay. So when actually we implement on the FPGA unit precisely, uh, this is our complete the matrix multiplier, multiplier and the modular function actually we have taken and uh, we have implemented on the FPGA having the 32-bit uh, standard multiplier, okay, matrix multiplier, uh, you call it the tensor multiplier, the continuous con con modular function. So uh, these, are, these are precisely our results, I, I don't, but I just, I just put it here precisely for the sake of uh, completeness, okay. And uh, this is our synthesized, you can say, blocks are there. We use the Jing platform is there. You can find that uh, our algorithm precisely is uh, very much, uh, uh, you can say, say, say it's very much synthesizable on the SOC, uh, sorry, on the FPGA. And uh, from here, precisely after synthesis, we uh, developed the complete SOC for this. 
So how the SOC will look like, I will let, let you know a little later. Symbols are decryption unit precisely we have developed here and uh, tested on the FPGA. Okay, and uh, this is you can say the the block top load the decryption unit is there. Okay, uh, the and specifically if I just uh, go forward, uh, the lattice encryption scheme precisely again the same thing is there. Uh, we tested there. Uh, this is little bit uh, use the lesser resources. Okay, uh, a better optimized you can say uh, the encryption unit and a better you can say optimal decryption unit is there. Okay, this is the Jink SOC architecture block level diagram is there precisely uh, where uh, the, the purpose is precisely to ex exploit this, right? So when we say the SOC architecture block diagram, it has uh, one uh, you can say uh, one ARM processor is there. Okay, well, this is here precisely and one Precisely one FPG, uh, one FPG, FPG, FPG is there. So specifically, uh, what we have done, we have we have made the entire software hardware system, okay, using uh, our lattice based uh, post quantum cryptography scheme. So for this precisely, some part of the like the application, the cipher library, everything we have uh, because installed on the uh, on the Linux kernel, the embedded Linux over the FPGA. And, uh, and the FPG actually we, uh, you can say, uh, we actually, uh, we, we dump actually the, or you can say we, we downloaded uh, the, uh, the entire, you can say, the encryption, uh, decryption and the recryption uh, modules are there. So this entire part become the very much the block, this entire thing become very much the, uh, uh, you can say, a, a black box precisely and uh, uh, this is uh, very much uh, sorry to so this part very much because the black, black box is there and uh, uh, and this particular black box actually very much looks like this it has its own ram and the room and you can say multiple interfaces are there and so on okay this is a block diagram precisely of the alu of uh, the chaos based encryption scheme is there uh, so when we talk about the designing the custom layer for the arm over jet board we have uh, we have modified the custom Linux for our purpose so that uh, we can have the communication with the other proper channels are there. So, so this is a device tree for the jet board is there. We utilize this to, you can say, uh, to make the precisely uh, to host the, to host the, you can say, to boot the Linux on the ARM. Okay. And uh, we, we designed the bootloader. Okay. Uh, specifically, the bootloader precisely is. Uh, very much required to you can say it is very much like that of the booting process of a computer so it uh, so we actually we have, we have we have made our own bootloader the device tree structure and the, our own file system precisely so file system again actually we have uh, 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 you know, modified of the uh, we have modified an existing file system here for our uses so that uh, we actually can uh, uh, have our system implemented here uh, linux kernel remote terminal ethernet connectivity everything is connected with this and all uh, this is a simple user interface is there i just skip this part this is a live terminal example is on the jet board again i skip uh, on the ps side which is precisely there uh, we are having the arm pc and our pl which are our logic is there we have our own protocol uh, implemented which actually communicates and uh, uh, i'm to say we read the write the value we read the value this says that uh, i'm to say we are able to communicate uh, the fpj with the real world example is there so that part also we have achieved and this specifically is the thing which actually I am saying that uh, this is the entire SOC we have done. So we are having the PQC core is there and uh, which does all this uh, encryption and the other part is there. And uh, we are having multiple interfaces are there. We are having his own VRAM and the, uh, the floating point unit is there for certain extra work. And uh, 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 we are having an on-chip memory to store the data for this particular PQC part is there. And uh, and this entire SOC we have implemented over the silicon. So you can see that uh, uh, this entire thing can be acted as a co-processor to any of the processor. So it, it has become very much a plug and play kind of device. And this is the, uh, so yeah. So this is precisely uh, the, and you can say even the detailed diagram there, where this entire, this, P, uh, this PQC core, if as embedded in the as a part of this uh, this entire, you can say the processor core is there with the CPU core, MMU debugger, and so on. Okay, this is there. Uh, so uh, I skip. I will not be talking about the class chaotic double panel system today. 
okay uh, but we have but i give you the some hint precisely what we have done so after you can say achieving all this thing and the successful validation of that that on the fpga okay and uh, at the because chips actually yet to be received at our end uh, we have realized the entire pqc okay uh, in a uh, running in a, in a in a working environment there okay so we have the classical uh, i want to say uh, and, and this is the way actually we achieved this is a standard you can say the uh, classical uh, sorry you can say arch uh, computer architecture is there you can find it in different books as well okay uh, so uh, uh, what we have done is we have integrated our pqc core with this okay and we have tested this so this entire thing precisely is, uh, is shown uh, for that particular purpose only uh, so so this is all there and we have used the chaos to you can design the pqc algorithm is here so uh, like this is double pandemic we use a triple pandemic system precisely to do that so so this kind of uh, these are very complex calculations are there so we have we have designed our uh, you can a chaotic triple pandemic system okay to generate the chaos and use the chaos i mean the chaos is nothing but the noise to generate the uh, the post quantum cryptography algorithms okay so i will not be going you can say deeper into this uh, i'm i'm just sk skipping everything so here uh, this is just some results i want to showcase that uh, even this images we have encrypted and uh, uh, we ran the brute force test using the standard algorithms we on our paramechan uh, the supercomputer at iit guwahati and we were not able to crack it even after uh, months of uh, you can say the brute force attack is there okay and certain other test actually it passes so i am not uh, describing this thing there okay what actually we have done also uh so this is i just skip this i think this is uh, i think this, i should remove this so i just directly go for the conclusion okay so the current online data transactions are now being vulnerable due to the rise of complexity we have spoken about this that uh, uh, now we are living in a world where uh, the digital uh, transaction the digital currencies are taking the center stages and uh, soon we will be having a a bhg human will be our atm card itself okay so uh, even in that case also i would say i suppose nobody can replicate my you can the fingerprint or so my retina scan or so okay i can add more you can say information to the security but uh, god knows okay uh, maybe some other day some tom cruise comes and uh, you can say uh, uh, sniffing your fingerprints and uh, your uh, uh, i would say mimicking your, your you can say some kind of the false eyes or so or some some kind of things that some some kind of the mission impossible kind of things can be there but uh, and uh, your your account is empty okay so we need to have a system in place so that without disturbing the current uh, system in itself we should be able to without disturbing the current system we should be able to uh, uh, We, we should be able to precisely uh, uh, provide the much desired security okay and uh, uh, to the current system in itself okay so that is all there from my side and uh, uh, a large number of references that i will share this slides with uh, professor more so he can circulate among uh, yourself for your further uh, interaction so, <clears throat> so this is all there from my side uh, and uh, i am very much uh, open for the questions hello yeah i am dr umbarkar uh, actually i wanted to ask you about the uh, the laws of parallel computing uh, in case of uh, quantum computing are they applicable as it is or we need to take the into the consideration of the critical sections and all those things sir those that is why i am to say uh, when actually when we do the standard uh, you get the this this uh, parallel computing we need to we need to take care of the critical sections and uh, uh, and everything right so even even those part also when we when we do the uh, the parallel on the quantum machine okay even then those things will be will be there something you we cannot ignore okay so so those rules precisely uh, so those rules precisely are very much there in place okay okay so that means only the computing power and parallelism will be 
improving where the rest of the yeah, things yeah. are going to take care of over the program yeah okay. so 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 that that so that part is still be there so i give an example suppose there is an algorithm okay i was attacking telling that what you can make um, uh, which algorithm you can make the quantum safe okay so uh, so if you really let's say an algo is there uh, which takes an input right and uh, this input uh, we can give the input precisely uh, we have uh, let's say it it is taking a 64 bit input right so uh, 64 bit means towards 64 combinations approximately so quantum computer can take actually an each of the input okay right and uh, can parallelly launch all the simulation suppose we are having that big quantum computer is there okay then for every instance okay it is solving uh, this entire problem uh, in parallel okay without having any you can say dependency on each other right so that is there so but now uh, if i say but each of the instant instance is uh, uh, for each of the instance a quantum computer has to sequentially you can say do all the steps okay right then the computer becomes a quantum safe sorry the algo becomes a quantum safe and if the sequential sequential steps if, if it verifies that if it takes it will really take the millions of years then we are safe sir Thank okay. you sir. Yeah. Participants please if you have questions please ask. Namaste, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, one more question, uh, sir. One more. Yes, question. sir. Uh, Umbar ka sir want want to ask question. Yes, sir. Uh, the, what is the current situation of uh, India in quantum computing? How we are doing in quantum? Uh, sir, actually, this is uh, India in quantum computing. Uh, many people are trying. Okay, many many physicists are trying to build a quantum computer. Uh, uh with a group of the uh, the computer science engineers or so so that is all there uh, so 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 that is that is definitely there but uh, still we have want uh, we don't claim that we have reached any stage uh sir so we are in uh, in as pathetic condition as we were uh, there when the classical uh, computer uh, need to, needed to be built okay so uh but yes uh, people are work group working in their own silos like i am working in my silo at iit guwahati i work in post quantum cryptography a uh, good number of people know me okay and i know them they are working okay but there is no collaboration so i don't know what will happen okay thank you sir uh, i have one doubt mm-hmm. yes sir sir uh, uh, actually the feasibility of uh, building a quantum computer yeah so, uh, is really uh, very hard to develop or uh, what the things are they... yeah sir sir in the, in the current scenario it is really very very hard i can uh, uh, just give me a moment i think uh, a couple of things precisely i uh, a couple of things precisely i ignored uh, but if you just look at it uh, uh, some of the the quantum computer what people has come up with okay uh, if i have it uh, yes i just share my screen once more yes and uh, so you can see this okay so you can see this so this is precisely uh, are if you are able to see my slides okay mm. so this is something like uh, uh, the nmr okay optical using optical that is okay ion trapping is very much required to you can say achieve this uh, kind of uh, uh, you can say this uh, quantum thing and this is very much based on the quantum annealing okay so this is a dw quantum computer so a very niche actually you know like uh, a very niche facility is required mm. okay to build this quantum computer so and second thing precisely uh, a yeah, second thing 
second thing precisely it requires a uh, not only this so uh, you can say very uh, uh, you can say you can say the even the, the uh, uh, what should I say? The liquid nitrogen or liquid, liquid you can say below liquid nitrogen temperature to you can say uh, uh, to you can say uh, to keep the system in a state so that it can, it can actually process something out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So suppose if I say I want a quantum computer, then I I need to have you can say uh, at least a billion dollar in my pocket to set it up at my home. Okay. So, so as of now, precisely the challenge is precisely is that uh, uh, you know this precisely I cannot uh, anyway I have to determine the state right. How do I determine the state? If I know the position, I cannot determine the state. If I know the state, I cannot determine the position right. And uh, I need to determine that thing at the uh, room temperature. How I do it? How how do I do that? So that is precisely one of the biggest challenge. If hmm. I am able to achieve that, and if I am able to achieve the quantum entanglement. Then uh, the entire uh, you can say the computing paradigm will change. One of the panel discussion by Microsoft, in which I was the member, one of the person asked me this question: Ki, what do you think? What is the most important uh, part? Okay, is very much required. Okay, for us to do, uh, or you can say to do this, uh, to enable the quantum computing, uh, a very easy one. So my answer was that an easy explanation of the quantum uh, quantum computing or the the basic quantum computing basics, sir. Uh, in the digital, uh, I'm to say uh, in digital logic, right, sir? Uh, I'm to say my I started when you would have started, okay, or maybe little, uh, I'm to say, maybe after even after a few more years, okay. Uh, so at, at our time, uh, I started with the Boolean algebra first. Okay, you would have started with the Boolean algebra, right, sir? Then we went to the digital logic. Okay, right. So uh, when actually people were people were telling us the Boolean algebra, this is leading to the digital. Many people get confused. But the same people, when they just drive certain applications, right, and they say, hey, this is something is very simple. You apply these two theorems, you get this. You have to go for the minimization. You go for the Carnot map. Hey, this is the Carnot maps are there. Okay, so the EG description of the uh, Boolean algebra as an application to the digital electronics uh, has turned the uh, you can say world upside down, right, sir? So similar kind of thing should happen to uh, you can say build the quantum computing momentum and the quantum computers in the country, uh, not in India but the worldwide as well. Thank you, sir. Yes, anyone is having any doubt, any question? So I request uh, Professor Dabade sir uh, to say a word of thanks. Yes, sir. Uh, on behalf of uh, Department of Computer Engineering, MIT's Bhujbal Knowledge City Institute of Engineering, I would like to thank today's session expert, Dr. Gaurav Trivedi, sir, for conduct, conducting such an informative session. During this session, sir, has covered many topics like uh, basic of uh, quantum computing, evaluation of uh, security strategies, uh, quantum cryptography, uh, quantum uh, cryptanalysis, quantum algorithms, and implementation of uh, encryption uh, unit. In addition to this, he has explained the uh, importance of compute, uh, quantum computing to improve security of low powered IoT devices. I'm sure this uh, session uh, will be help beneficial for all participants. Thank you, sir, for sparing your valuable time and sharing your expertise. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor Dabade. And thank you, Sir Moran. Thanks, thanks everybody to be there uh, to attend this session. I hope you would enjoy this. I was quite a lot quick in this because as I have told you earlier that uh, this is something like uh, 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 you can say summarizing ocean uh, uh, in a, in an hour is uh, really a big big challenge. Okay, but this is really very interesting area and uh, enormous research opportunities are there. Okay, uh, in fact, this is just I want to inform to the uh, to my colleagues of different institutes uh, here that uh, this IBM quantum computer uh, is very much uh, for the public use. Uh, you can avail it free of cost. So become a member and uh, start exploring this. This will really be very much beneficial for you.
Yes, sir. Surely. Uh, sir, can you uh, share your PPTs also? Yeah, I will share my PPTs. I have to a little bit tweak it because some part is unpublished. So I have to remove that images also okay. and I will share all the data. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I will do that. Uh, give me a day. I will do this. Yes, yes sir. Thank okay. you. Sir. And uh, uh, I wish everybody a very safe and uh, healthy stay at home. Uh, I think uh, 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 we all have fed up and a couple of more months. Uh, sorry, sir. I think I will take only uh, some 10 more seconds. Uh, last two years, many like many, I have been also following this uh, this COVID-19 or so and uh, even read many biology papers or so. Uh, the papers actually published in quite a lot of uh, rapid journals or so. Uh, there are many, you can say, experts worldwide. They are claiming that in two next two months or so, or after the next two or three months, uh, things will improve. And I also feel so, that after uh, the next two to three months, things will be improved drastically. And we will be returning to our uh, uh, yeah, golden old days uh, in pre-COVID era. So yes, please, uh, uh, have patience uh, little bit more okay and we are on the verge of winning thank you with, with this i again wish everybody a safe and healthy stay bye bye thank you sir thank you okay participant the session is over now and we will uh, join again at 12 for a very good session and uh, you all are requested to join that